2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, individuals. It is the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we have the Houston Rockets going up against the Raptors in Toronto. For Toronto, they've won eight of their last ten, looking really strong. They've got to be pleased. In this matchup, two seasoned clubs. Shaq, talk about the importance of experience on a roster. Yeah, a lot of great young teams go nowhere. The Warriors did it fairly young, but most champions have a lot of vets. Well, experienced players have patience. That's the difference. They're willing to wait for something better to develop. Younger players are in a hurry to get it there. But moving the ball, good shot selection, those are the things that help you win titles. And with the tip-off coming up shortly, we go courtside to Kevin Harlan for the call. A soaring CN Tower is seen from the waters of Lake Ontario. Along with the rest of beautiful downtown Toronto, our setting today. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Well, James Harden is both famous and infamous with his skill at getting to the foul line. Some don't like it, but Harden says, free throws are a part of basketball. Either you're going to foul me, or I'm going to score. Putting the pressure on the defense like that is tough, but that's what makes a good player. Kevin, no lies told there. Well, no doubt, David, he is one of the best. Thank you. And we got a chance now to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers, and what has been the trend for Harden? And the trend that he's going through, with his assist numbers dropping over the past few years isn't a good one. I don't want to say he's become a more selfish player because that, that's too harsh, but he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot rather than creating for his teammates. Uh, he may want to rethink that. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Harden and Gordon are out on the wing. E.J. Tucker is out there with Robert Covington, and it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. And for the Raptors... Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slot. Ari out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ibaka in at center. There should be plenty of fireworks out in the backcourt tonight in this one. Of the guards you played alongside, who is the best combination passer score? Oh, man, Kev, you put me on the hot seat. That's a tough one. I just got to give everybody <laughs> you a shout out. a lot of them, though, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, I know, man. I didn't know it was going to be a test today. Uh, I got to go with <laughs> I gotta go with my boy Rod Strickland when I played with him at the Wizards. I think he's oh, the yeah. best finisher ever, and he led the league uh, in assists. My boy Jay Will, shout out to White Chocolate. Uh, I mean, he is one of the most creative players I ever played with, but he could shoot it from deep. He was a guy that liked to shoot it from Curry land, and he could pass it. And, and then lastly, I'd have to, of course, go with my man Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby could do it all. So I've been blessed to play and fortunate to play with some great scores and, and combination passes in this league. Three terrific names. Harden scanning the floor. Out left to the wing. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Harden. It's easy to see how Harden's been the league's top assist man before. I mean, he makes the special feed. Back to Lowry. Passes it to Van Vliet. He feeds it to Ibaka. Rockets foul call. P.J. Tucker. That's his first personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Serge Ibaka. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Serge Ibaka. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league. But that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work.
Ibaka hits both of them. Kevin, it was an up-and-down season for the Rockets last year. I mean, they started out very slow, and then because of injury, but it took them a while to get into the playoff picture. But how about this? They won their division, but only nabbed the fourth seed in the playoffs. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And Chris, last year being the fourth seed in the postseason was trouble for the Rockets. Yeah, yeah, it was, especially, Kevin, when you have to face the Warriors in the second round. They got bounced out in game six despite the Warriors losing Durant. Uh, the slow start in the regular season, I, I think, played a big factor. We throw good, James Harden. Well, look, I love how Harden does a little bit of everything. Aggressive score, solid rebounder, superb passer. And he's also improving on the defensive end. Now, here's Siakam. He's a solid producer, averaging nearly 22 points a game. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Westbrook. And he lays it straight in. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. Now, here's Lowry. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Miami. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. The Rockets have gone 3 of 4 from the field to start out the game. Here's Westbrook, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Westbrook's got six. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. And the pass to Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Back to Van Vliet. Stolen by Harden. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And he finishes the break with a lay-in. Five points in the game. Well, Kevin, how about the quick hands of Harden? They're easily coming up with the steal, thanks to his activity. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Siakam outside. Stolen by Tucker. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And the jam by Harden. When you put everything into your defense like Tucker does, good things happen. Like easy points off of a terrific steal. Lowry for three. And the Raptors miss again. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a great play, and he does it without foul. Raptors trail by five. Van Vliet with it. He had 10 points in the win against Miami. Kicks it to Lowry. Now Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Here's Hananobi. And the Raptors miss again. Rockets leading by five. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Westbrook. Nine points for James Harden. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Time out, time They've been out. looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Chris, if your team's style of play doesn't seem to be working, do you still have time within a season to change it? There's always time. As long as everyone is on the same page. And if something's not working, uh, the worst thing you can do is to keep going in that direction. Uh, you need to bring everyone in, let them know the mistakes that we've made, let them know our new outlook, and, and ask everyone, are they in on it? And if they're not, those guys that aren't in on it, you stay in the locker room, we'll be back after the game. And if everyone's in on it, we're going to have a <laughs> heck of a time. We're going to have a heck of a time because now we have a new outlook. And sometimes with a new outlook, it brings positive energy. Free Wi-Fi. Whoa! 
we get a moment now to view the league's stingiest defenses. The Raptors in second. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. Lowry against Westbrook. Now, here's Lowry. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now, here is Lowry. Ananobi passes to Lowry. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Ananobi. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Siakam against Covington. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. No, no hesitation to get it to the rim. He uses his height advantage to convert the easy one. And the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam got better in every statistical category. Daniel House has checked in for Houston. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. They throw good. Siakam. And it's those diamond in the rough players that so often elevate the top teams. And Greg, that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam. No doubt. The 27th pick back in 2016 now a full-time starter on a rookie contract just over two mil this season he is due for a big race here is Lowry James Harden picking up that last basket rebounded by Tucker still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game but it's a tough stretch he's going through and stolen by Siakam Lowry against Harden Lowry drives in, and the rejection by Harden. He's been cold, and it's been hurting them. The D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That's his first foul. Some changes for Toronto. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Ibaka. Norman Powell comes in for OG Ananobi. Davis is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Green's checked in. Now here's Westbrook. He had 31 points in the win against San Antonio, and he's good on the three ball. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Davis, the pass to Lowry. Over Westbrook, Gasol trying to free himself up. Here's Siakam. He doesn't hit that one. Great D that time from Green. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Shoots from 12, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Hey, Chris, this year pioneer Chuck Cooper inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Long overdue, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he was the first African-American player ever to be drafted. I mean, dude, let's just think about that. Mm -hmm. Jackie Robinson of, of basketball. He paved the way. And uh, what he endured, uh, and his teammates, by the way, of all colors, Take a break. Uh, is Take a break. well documented. And, and I think the Celtics need to, and I think they will retire his number 11 and have it hang up in that fame Raptors of theirs over there. I agree. That free throw, no good. And the Raptors with some changes. Boucher is checked in. And it's Rondé Hollis-Jefferson in for Kyle Lowry. The Rockets also changing it up. McLemore's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook.
And the second free throw, good. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets. It's a 10-point game. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. I mean, come on, man. Harden is ridiculously clever, including how he decides to posterize you. A superb athlete. Toronto calls timeout. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense in that one. Well, nowadays, the three-point shot is huge. They were on fire from outside. we get a chance to check out the standings out west already we're in december you look at houston here in the early part of the season they've acquired the third best record in the conference and you know houston they had a few critics coming into the season and now i don't think they have any this is a club ready to not only make a deep run but possibly win it all but come on GA, you know that's the mindset you have to have they know if they can get to the playoffs they have the talent to do some real damage Rockets leading by 12. Here's McLemore. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Stolen. And here is Davis. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Left side Gasol. Five to shoot. And the rejection by Harden. It's good. And here are the Rockets now. Rivers with it. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Green passes to Harden. Here's Rivers. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Raptors trail by 10. Down low, here's Powell. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Raptors shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And you really got to give them a ton of credit for what they've done at the free throw line this season. How about 82% as a unit? Shooting two. The free throw drops for Powell. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Houston. He's perfect from the line this time. And there's a minute 45 left in the first. Now McLemore, no points in the game yet for him. Green kicks to McLemore, pass to House. Lock at six, pass to Rivers. Here's Green. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Shot clock at six. Rivers kicks to House. Picked off in midair. How about the reaction time on that pass? Quick. And what good work there to get in the way of it. Hollis Jefferson finds Gasol. Knocks it loose. 
It's stolen by McLemore. 55 seconds left to play in the first. Rivers passes to McLemore. Tipped away. Powell with the steal. Here's the break. And he uses the glass on the layup. Powell's got five. Don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. Now here's McLemore. He's tightly guarded. Rivers can't get it to go. Raptors trail by six. Davis surveying the floor. Outside for Gasol. Passes it to Powell. With one on the clock. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on the Houston Rockets. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Powell. He doesn't get the second one. James Harden getting it done for the Houston Rockets. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Mark Gasol so appreciated by his fans and certainly a lot of Spanish-speaking fans excited about his success. It's just fun. You see more fans on the stands um, that speak Spanish, um, even if they're from Spain or um, Argentina, Mexico, whatever they're from, they, uh, they support the Spanish-speaking people and they love the game also. And great to see so many different cultures and countries embrace the game. Yes, and, and with players like Gasol having so much success, I think it helps give those Latino and, and Spanish-speaking fans a connection to the NBA. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. Powell is out there with Davis, and it's Mark Gasol, and it's Hollis Jefferson in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Now here's Rivers. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And we get a chance to check out the numbers for Davis. Averaging five points per game, three rebounds, and two assists. Nothing about his numbers really jump out at you, but he'll come up with a timely play or two every game. Yeah, and sometimes that's all they need, especially in tight games. One or two plays can make all the difference. And he can't get the first one. Chris, this is a specialty of yours. Which, which current bigs are, are best at finishing contested shots right at the rim? Oh, well, I'll tell you this. The best big in the league last year, averaging 17 points, scoring in the paint, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes. I mean, he'll dunk on anybody. Move out the way he finishes. <laughs> what about Embiid inside? What about Gobert? What about Boogie Cousins? Should I continue? I can keep going because the big man is back, baby. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. The pass to Davis. Toronto working the ball around now. Five on the clock. Puts it up. The shot. No good. The Rockets go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. 
Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Here is House. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Davis. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Houston in the lead. Now here's McLemore. His last outing, he had eight points. He kicks to Rivers. Outside, Green. Jacks up a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Green's got four this quarter. Uh, there is the unselfishness that coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. Here's Powell. It's rebounded by Houston. Green's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. All alone. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got five rebounds tonight. Powell, the pass to Hollis Jefferson. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. The drive by Green. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. Toronto calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Going out now with a whole new group. Houston with a big group substitution here. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Green. Robert Covington comes in for Daniel House. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for McLemore. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Rivers. Pass to Siakam. To the left wing. Six to shoot. Carroll with the rebound. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Last game for Houston, they picked up the win against the Spurs in San Antonio. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. The noise didn't really seem to bother them. In fact, it appeared to make them sharper and play harder for each other. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Westbrook. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. The Rockets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. And the first one drops. Chris, are there specific types of plays where you feel the whistle gets blown maybe a little too often and a little too early? But, well, sometimes uh, for a guard, when he's defending the guard and the pick and roll comes and he fights through that pick and 
as a guard or offensive player, I can stop right. and let you bump into me right. and shoot the ball. I think the refs just, they just have to be smart with it. Sometimes it's a foul, but every time it's not just because of the situation uh, or, or, or the flop. And, and also, you just, you just don't want players to be bailed out when the defender is in a good position. But that's what makes the game so great is the fact that as an offensive player, you got to try to manipulate and find out where you can sneak yourself in the gray areas of a rules. And as a defensive player, how can you use your skill, your will, and then your IQ not to get caught with your hand in the cookie jar? For Toronto, they have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, the Raptors' Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season. Greg is an NBA head coach. The first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it. Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe. And this summer he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup. Houston leading by four. Here's Westbrook. He's got 10. He tries for three. The rebound by Ibaka. And so Ibaka will bring it up for the Raptors. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Ananobi kicks to Lowe. Six on the shot clock. Here's Van Vliet. And the Raptors miss again. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Outside Westbrook takes a three. The Rockets with another miss. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. To the inside, Covington. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Uh -uh, proving he's not afraid to finish with power. Covington loves to dunk it home. Gordon against Siakam. Over Gordon. Got it in the Houston lead. has been cut down now to just four points with the basket from Siakam. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now here's Westbrook. He averages over 27 points a game and seems to always find a way to score. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Sunday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on Monday, they'll go up against the Bulls in Chicago. And for their matchup with the Clippers, it's going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. And so he makes both from the line. And most fans think of the Rockets as offense only, but that's not the case at all. No, G.A., I mean, they force a good amount of turnovers, and they trap pretty well. I mean, the defense has been solid for them the past few years, if you ask me. Nothing mind-blowing, but this team is certainly not one-sided. Now here's Van Vliet. And the rejection by Harden. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Rocket two. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Siakam. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. And Harden with the stuff. A ferocious player on the offensive end. Harden is fantastic at staying aggressive. Actively looking for a shot. And here is Van Vliet. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. 
And it's seven points for Serge Ibaka. And not entering the league as a, a natural catch-and-shoot guy, Ibaka certainly has developed this part of his game. Here's Westbrook. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Fires the three, and the Raptors hit again from deep. It was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. To the paint. Well-placed alley pass into the layup. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Lowry. Basket made. That's his third of the game. He's three for nine now. I mean, if the defender is going to play off like that, then you know what's going to happen. There are going to be points put on the board. Westbrook passes to Gordon. Carries it from three-point range. And the Rockets lead by three. That lightning quick release. Gordon catching and firing perfectly. Can't guard that. Lowry against Westbrook. Lowry can't get it to go. Houston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And really, Gordon gets these calls because how engaged he is. He's consistent at remaining aggressive. First trip to the line for him here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. That free throw good from Gordon. Chris, as we know, the season began a year ago for Eric Gordon with some poor shooting numbers. Then, halfway through, he blossomed. Yeah, Kevin, and as you know, he kept focusing all year. He just kept shooting it. And he got better and better and better. His confidence wasn't shaken by it. He still took a ton of threes, and then down the stretch, they started dropping him. You know what he did when that started happening? Driving to the hole because the defense had to respect his shot. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's For Toronto, they have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. Norman Powell. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Powell. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And the Raptors making a change here. Hollis Jefferson's checked in. And the Rockets making a change here as well. McLemore's checked in for Eric Gordon. 158 left to play here in the second quarter. Westbrook with it. 12 points for him. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Ah, uh, the former Jayhawk, McLemore. A gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he knocks down the first one. And the Raptors making a change here. Davis has checked in. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Raptors trail by five. 
There's a minute 40 left in the first half. That one drops for him. Hollis Jefferson's got his first two points of the night. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Pass to Green. Here is House. Rivers looking over the floor. No good there. Davis with some nice deep. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And here's a look at some numbers for Siakam. And, and guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. Now here's Rivers. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Green. No good on that one. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Harden, that's good. Harden's got 21. He's not just an outside threat. Harden's a player who can score from anywhere. Here's Siakam. Rockets with the rebound. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Three-pointer. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Ben McLemore. Shooting for Toronto. Davis. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Davis. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Here's Carroll. And they pick up two. And the Rockets lead by three. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Rockets lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, what's the most important thing for you offensively so far? Just trying to stay in attack mode, man. Uh, moving the ball. You know, they force you to make the extra pass, and God's doing a good job of that tonight. Just try to come out and give my team some energy. Russell, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? James Harden was the man in the first. He had 21 points, two assists, and three blocks. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops, run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. Shaq. Let's get your insight on Toronto. The thing I like was how they were making a conscious effort to work the ball inside. They should do the same in the second half. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they're running the offense through the post, driving it, doesn't matter. Get to the rim, and the rest will take care of itself. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. 
A fantastic game from Harden in this one. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So on the floor for Houston. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Gordon, and it's Tucker in at the five. And it's Gordon missing, and it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Raptors trail by three. Now Lowry, and there's the pass to Ananobi. The feed to Ibaka. And that one, good. Ibaka's got his third bucket of the night. So agile. Ibaka able to quickly come up and, and set the screen, then quickly rolls into position for the score. Westbrook with a deep three. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Greg last season, the best scoring average of Serge Ibaka's career. Even with a down year as far as his three-point shooting, Ibaka's still very efficient, getting more of his offense around the rim, playing some at the five. Slow to get warm after the break. 0 for 3 now. Maybe they need an early timeout. It's just to try to settle things down. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Another miss by Westbrook. This was not what they had in mind coming out of the locker room at halftime. Four shots so far and nothing to show for. And, and what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. And here are the Rockets now. The Raptors getting the bucket. Tucker can't get it to go. The drive by Siakam. No good on the shot. And it's Houston the other way. From about 16, the rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. Timeout, he timeout. has been putrid here this quarter. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. And here's a look at some of the most multi-dimensional players in the NBA. Not only can they pass, they can fill it up. The highest scoring point guards this season. Russell Westbrook third. Well, well this is a collection of maybe the most well-rounded players in our league. I mean, to see those kinds of scoring numbers from the point guard position is it, crazy. Yeah, Greg, these guys aren't there just to run the offense for the teams anymore. They are the offense. They can light it up. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now here's Van Vliet. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. And it's Harden with the ball for Houston. They trail by one. Here's Tucker. And the rejection by Ibaka. An elite rim protector, Ibaka has the highly desired combination of athleticism and timing. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. 
Yeah, and he plays a lot bigger than that six-foot frame would suggest. Lowry is just a bundle of energy out there. Van Vliet can't get it to go. He's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack for him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Van Vliet. Now there's the grit you've come to expect from Tucker. Getting into position for the rebound and getting some points out of him. Now here's Van Vliet. The offensive rebound. Launches it. A shot off that time. Can't get anything to fall. But it hasn't gotten him down. I mean, he's still gunning. I guess he's still trying to contribute. Tucker finds Gordon. Lowry against Westbrook. Harden the pass to Westbrook. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact from deep. Now, here's Lowry. He's got six. Trains it from beyond the arc. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Offensive rebound. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. Pass to Ananobi. Just five to shoot. Wing shot on the way. The Rockets pull it in. Tucker's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Westbrook. 17 points in the game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Houston making a switch here. Carroll's checked in. And both free throws good for Westbrook. Raptors trail by three. Siakam looking around. Kicks it to Lowry. Shot clock at six. It's Abaka that time on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. Outside Westbrook. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And yes, it's good. A, a veteran guard with a knack for penetrating defenses. Lowry can pretty much get any shot he wants. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got 19. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That is his first foul of the game. Marcus Alls checked in for Ananobi. Daniel House has checked in for the Rockets. Or three, Westbrook. Siakam pulls it in. In Toronto, they've gone six of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. To the middle. Then Gasol with the dunk. Not a lot of ups needed right there for Gasol to get up and hammer the dunk. Rockets trail by three. Outside Westbrook. Puts up a three. Trills the three-pointer. Westbrook's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Houston. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Over in the corner, Gasol. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gasol's got four points this quarter. 
Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Or three, Westbrook. And it's Toronto with the rebound. The drive by Siakam. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Outside Westbrook. And not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Siakam gets to Gasol. And the Raptors tack on two more. This system is set up perfectly for him today. I mean, it's allowing him to find a lot of good shots. And just like his brother Powell, Mark Gasol active in humanitarian causes. I mean, we saw him volunteering on rescue boats in the Mediterranean. Mark doing his part, but also bringing attention to that humanitarian crisis. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. A new group in now for the Raptors. Boucher is checked in. Hollis Jefferson comes in for Pascal Siakam. Norman Bowles checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Davis is subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And then for Houston, Green is checked in for Gordon. McLemore has come in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Here's the Raptors with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Powell in the high post. Lock at six. Beyond the arc. Great D that time from Green. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go for him. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, G.A. Here's Carroll after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Floats one up, and Gasol sends it back. You gotta be wary of Gasol. I mean, he's good at using his length to turn away shots. And it's Davis missing. Rockets trail by seven. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 114 left to play here in the third. Rejected by Gasol. He's dragged them down with his performance today. I mean, a whole lot of zeros from him on the stat sheet. Powell, that's good. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Pass to House. Back to Rivers. Ripped away. Now here's Powell, guarded by McLemore. The shot by Powell, no good. Shots good by Boucher. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Yes, that goes in. This is how you run the pick and roll. Rivers just knows how to break down a defense. Raptors leading by nine. Outside, Davis. Feeds it to Gasol. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. 
are using that big body. I mean, Casal able to absorb contact. That's what you want from your big man. And so it's the Toronto Raptors. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. Right back after this break. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Norman Powell. He's out there with Davis. Marc Gasol is out there with Hollis Jefferson. And it's Boucher in at the four spot. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Passes it to McLemore. Back to Rivers. Down to five on the shot clock. Houston needs to get a shot off from downtown. But they get it back. How's the pass to Rivers? Carroll against Davis. Clock at four. Now the pass to House. Now here's McLemore outside. Gasol with the rebound. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Davis against Rivers. Davis kicks to Boucher. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got assist number five here tonight. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. Back to Carroll. Let's the three fly. Bangs home the trifecta. And that's his role. Well, that's where Carroll's at his best, the catch and shoot. Davis, the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Here's Boucher. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Gasol inside, guarded by Tucker. The shot's good from Gasol. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Rivers against Davis. Rivers kicks it to Tuck. Good work defensively by Gasol. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Timeout called the Rockets. As he enters his mid-30s, Mark Gasol showing no signs of slowing down. If anything, I think he's a better all-around basketball player. Houston making some changes. Robert Covington's checked in for Damari Carroll. James Harden comes in for McLemore. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Austin Rivers. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Westbrook no good. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And the shot goes in from Siakam. 
uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Six on the shot clock. Outside Gasol. Here's Van Vliet. Off target from three-point range. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Covington. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Now what confidence from the rangy swing man. I mean, <laughs> he knows what it takes to convert from there. Siakam up top. Defended by Covington. What a game he's having on the boards. Even their big fellas can't keep him off the glass. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Van Vliet's got four rebounds now tonight. To the paint. And Siakam throws it down. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Hits the three-point bomb. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Toronto. And a change for the Rockets. Gordon's checked in. Just five on the clock. Van Vliet passes to Lowry. Good work there as it goes. And the Raptors lead by 17. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Pass to Gordon from past the arc. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. They led by as many as 18 points. Good D by Westbrook. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, and he's gotten to his spots and capitalized. He just needs a little more help from his teammates. Lowry against Westbrook. And it's Lowry again missing. Rockets trail by 12. And here's Gordon. Dishes it to Westbrook. To the inside. Harden. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Left side Lowry. There's the three. Again, the miss by Lowry. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. And now here comes Gordon leading the break. Finish off the break. Oh, great ball movement there. Lowry with the ball. And the Raptors call time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end.
And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Pascal Siakam. And the shooting percentage, how about all the way in the 60s, shows how deadly he can be when he's feeling it. And as locked in as he was, they were trying to feed him as much as possible. But he never got out of control. I mean, he kept his head and just stayed patient. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Thank you, David. And some nice passing there by Houston. And it's Gordon missing. Yeah, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, the rebounding has been very one-sided. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. A shot by Lowry, no good. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. From deep Harden, connects from three-point range. Harden's got it back down to within single digits for the Rockets. Toronto's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Now Lowry. Here's on an open. Six to shoot. Ibaka finds Lowry. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Rockets trail by nine. Pass to Harden. Oh, he's mastered the art of drawing fouls. Harden's led the league in free throws time and time again. Shooting two. Gets the first, and that brings them within eight. Both good from the line that time. Now here is Lowry. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the final quarter. Ananobi passes to Siakam. Lowry from outside. Lowry can't get that one to fall. Look, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Out to the wing. Ananobi passes to Ibaka. And again, no good by Toronto. Rockets trail by five. One oh two left to play here in the fourth. The shot, no good. Outside Lowry. No good again that time. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. It's Harden with the drive. Can't connect from short range. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's just great defense. Forcing his man into a difficult attempt. And an intentional foul right there. Shooting for Toronto. Kyle Lowry. Taking two shots. He 
drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. A five-time All-Star. Lowry has come a long way since being drafted 24th overall back in 2006. And jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by seven. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Two seconds left in the game. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Frames it from downtown. And Kevin, when the game is up in the air, Harden delivers. Easy to understand why he is seen as one of the best players in the league. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. And here are the Rockets. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Well, that's just fantastic concentration by Harden. Taking the hit like a champ, draining the shot. Now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Shooting for Toronto. Foul. Oh. Taking two shots.
First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two-possession ball game. Shoots. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Shooting for Toronto, Kyle Lowry. Two shots. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Uh, with a chance to ice the game, he's got perfect focus at the line. Now, you could put this one in the books. And so it's Toronto winning this one. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you. Here with Mark Gasol. Mark. You got on track offensively as the game went on. What was the difference? Well, having the ball a little more, but it really doesn't matter. I thought what, in the second half, we played more like us. We executed better. We defend better. And uh, we finished possession with the rebound, which allowed you to run a little bit more. That is your team's MO, Mark. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Chris Webber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.